You know, as I study the men and women of the Bible, all who made a great impact, there's one thing they all had in common. They were all anointed by the Holy Ghost to complete the assignment God has given them. The Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 6, that when the Spirit of the Lord came upon King Saul, that he became a changed person. There was something different about his life. In other words, there was a before and an after moment, and there was notable change. Let me remind you, all through Scripture, when the anointing came upon people, they were changed individuals. Think about Moses, who had this speech impediment. He stuttered, but when the anointing came upon his life, he was able to march into Pharaoh's court and say, let my people go. Think about David who was just a 15 year old shepherd boy watching over his daddy's sheep. But when the anointing of God came upon him, he was able to stand before Goliath and kill the giant. I tell you today that if you was to examine the rock and the head of Goliath, there was nothing special about it, but it was the anointing of the Holy Ghost that rested upon David. Think about Peter, who was a cussing fisherman. And the scripture says he denied Jesus three times to a 12 year old girl. But the moment he was empowered by the Holy Ghost, he preached his very first sermon and 3,000 people came into to the kingdom of God. There's an anointing available for you today, and that anointing has to do with your assignment. You might not be anointed to be a five-fold minister such as a prophet or an apostle or pastor or teacher, but you're anointed for business. You're anointed for the marketplace. You may be anointed to be the next governor, the next mayor of this city. And whatever that anointing is, embrace it, receive it, and let God empower you to do the work He's called you to do. It's called the anointing of the Holy Ghost.